Hi, I'm David Gerard and welcome to Pivot to AI. Today, let's get <clears throat> bogged down in peat. Peat soils in the UK are important as carbon sinks and to the environment generally. Peat used to be used as fuel, then it was used as fertilizer. Peat bogs were hugely overmined, but in 2021, the UK government put forward a peat action plan to preserve peat bogs. To this end, they started work on making a map of peat sites in England. Natural England released its official England peat map last week. This was the culmination of years of effort by a lot of good people working their backsides off to put together an important data set. A team called AI for Peat got funding from DEFRA, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs. They used aerial photography, satellite imagery, LIDAR terrain data, and some existing data sets, and they fed all of this into a machine learning model. They proclaimed, The success of the approach demonstrates how AI can be used to improve the efficiency of environmental monitoring. Unfortunately, the resulting map was not a success in being a success. Many interested parties looked over the map and found a lot of it was just completely wrong. The Moreland Association, who pushed hard for this map, calls the report the Great Peat Map Debacle. For example, the bare floor of a quarry was marked on the map as a one metre depth of peat, and bare limestone and nearby woodland were both identified as Kalunavogs. The Moorland Association said, Natural England themselves have admitted that land managers shouldn't rely on the map to identify where deep peat actually is on their land. So, after years of work and millions of pounds, we've ended up with a map that cannot be used. Farming forum posters found the map was wildly inaccurate for their own farms, such as alleged peat deposits, quote, on a sandstone hillside in the middle of a pine wood, unquote. They worry very much about how they can appeal government decisions following from this map if computer says no. Natural England's own announcement blog post got a pile of comments detailing things the map got wrong in the commenters' own local areas. Quote, All our degraded peat are trees and rocks in real life. Quote, Fields claim to be peat of over one metre depth when they're a stagnoglay mineral soil. Quote, Hator, the iconic Devon landmark known for being a very large and imposing lump of granite, is shown as being deep peat. It looks like all the tours of Dartmoor are similarly misdiagnosed. Natural England replied, as we say in the blog post, our models have an overall accuracy measure of over 95% for the extent of peaty soils and of 94% for vegetation and land cover. So that means 1 in 20 map details, or even more, are going to be just plain wrong. Ket Frampton posted a Blue Sky thread detailing many other problems. Quote, Not anywhere near enough ground truthing or double-checking was done to catch the problems before publishing it." Unquote. How did this happen? We have the final report with links to how it was all put together. The technical supplements of the final report details how they did the machine learning bit. The researchers took a whole lot of top-down visual data and used it to estimate depth of this particular type of soil. Presumably they found a correlation that was 95% accurate, which is Excellent, that's amazing. But for production work, the other 5% is going to be their entire problem. They did send 92 people out into the field to check for errors in the survey data. So they did check the results, and the process looks reasonable, but in the end it wasn't enough. Natural England has created a map of UK peat coverage that is 5-6% complete nonsense. But it'll still be used to guide policy and to decide funding for peat reconstruction work. Unfortunately, it's AI, so the map passes the check for political validity. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. Don't forget to tell one person about this post. Hit like and subscribe, or leave a podcast review, and especially 
don't forget to fund the Pivot to AI Patreon. Thank you all. See you tomorrow and bye for now.